Okay, welcome to the Ladybug skill training video. As always, you can download the attached PDF to follow along. In Ladybugs, we're going to introduce the concept of the 10 pair. And there are only five possible 10 pair, uh, and they are combinations of numbers that add to 10, such as 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, and 5 and 5. So we just need to memorize these five pairs. In ladybugs, we're going to encounter the situation where adding a number to a rod will result in a number larger than nine. So we'll need to use an additional rod on the left in order to complete the addition. So we have a simple rule that's called the 10 pair addition rule that we will use uh, to handle the ladybug problems. And it simply states, add one to the next rod left and subtract the 10 pair complement of the number you want to add from the target rod. So let's jump into some problems and see how we would use the 10 pair addition rule. Okay, in this first problem, we are going to start with the number seven. So I simply add seven uh, on my Soroban. And next, I need to add five. Well, I only have two beads here uh, on my target rod, so I can't add five directly. So this is where I need my 10 pair addition rule. And it says, add one to the next rod left, and then subtract five's 10 pair, which also turns out to be five. So I just take that five away. So now I have an interim sum of 12. Next, I'm going to add two. Well, that's just straightforward. And then finally to subtract three, and I have a final answer of 11. So there was a, a first example of how we can use our uh, addition rule to add numbers that are greater than nine. Okay, let's try a second example. In this example, we're gonna start off with two. And then we're going to add seven. Okay, well, I can just add seven straight away. And then, thirdly, I need to add six. Well, as we can see here, I don't have any beads left to add on my target rod, so I can't add six directly. So this is the condition where we use our addition rule, and it says add one to the next rod left, and then subtract six is 10 pair, which is four. Okay, and that gives me an interim sum of 15. And then lastly, I'm going to just subtract 5, and I have a final answer of 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one final example. And in this example, we're going to start off with 5, and then we're going to add 4. Okay, that's straightforward so far. And again, I encounter the situation, I need to add eight, but I have no beads here, or not enough beads to add eight directly. So my addition rule says, add one to the next rod left, and then subtract eight's 10 pair, which is two. Okay, now I'm gonna add, or sorry, subtract six, and that will give me a final answer of 11. So, couple of comments to make here is we're uh, with our addition rule we're building a strategy where we're always working from left to right and so that's a really important concept to keep in mind as you do your bead work you always want to work left to right and not be jumping back and forth between rods and secondly is you know remember uh, good bead work involves um, using your thumb and index finger uh, in the way that we are training so that uh, as our problems get more complex, we'll be able to build the speed to uh, complete them on time. Okay, so I hope all that was clear. And if you need to, go ahead back and review the video. Uh, but good luck with your training.